everyone, welcome to Mr. T's Film Preach, and if you're a film lover like I am, then you are in the right place. Click like down below and subscribe to my channel. What did you think of this film? Are you a lover of the coming of age genre? What is your favorite coming of age film? I love to hear your thoughts and comments down below and while you're down there click like and subscribe to my channel for more content. Today we're talking about the 2023 coming of age film Are You There God? It's Me Margaret. Written and directed by Kelly Freeman Craig based on the famous book by Judy Bloom. When her family suddenly moves from the city to the suburbs of New Jersey, 11 year old Margaret navigates her new world, new friends, new feelings and balancing her childhood life as she transitions into adolescence let me just be normal and regular like everybody else just please 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 first of all i've read judy bloom's books before not this one but i've read super fudge i've read tales of a fourth grade nothing so this was my first introduction to are you there god it's me margaret I'm a huge fan of coming of age films. In fact, it's probably in my top three, maybe four genres of film. Whether you're telling a coming of age story set when you're like eight, nine, 10 years old, or maybe something a little bit older, like 15, 16, 17, or even into adulthood, like in your early 20s. Coming of age films cover a large, wide spectrum. The director of this film, Kelly Freeman Craig, had also directed another coming of age film called The Edge of 17. So it made sense when I heard she was directing this film. I thought she'll be a perfect fit, like a glove. Like a glove. The story of an 11 year old girl growing up, kind of like a year in the life of Margaret and, and how she deals with her changes to her body, to her life, changing dynamics with certain relationships, with new friends, figuring out boys and romance and the first kiss, getting her first period and how that is such a big momentous moment as she becomes a teenager. And it's a film about searching for identity, who you are. She literally explores that in different religions as she has this complicated relationship with God and what that means to her and how she navigates that. I think it's just an awesome directed film. It was so well stylized. It was a great straightforward film, but being really funny and down to earth and engaging and sweet, innocent, but also how we fringe on that innocence into some darker territory as we become adolescents, as we become teenagers. Do you think any of us will look like that when we're 19? We must! We must increase our trust! I thought Kelly Freeman Craig did an excellent job of exploring those themes. After seeing The Edge of 17 and now this film, she is perfect for this genre. She makes it so relatable to the audience and you can connect with the characters better. And thus, I think that's why it makes it such a great engaging film. Oh yay! Speaking of the adults, the way that the mom and dad are written in this film and the grandma and the parents and just, I love the way that they don't treat adults like dumb idiots. Like oftentimes when stories are told from a child's perspective, like this film is, adults are sort of these like over the top, stupid, bumbling characters. There's the dumb dad, there's the nagging mom. This film doesn't do that at all. It treats the adults with respect and that they're kind of these really fun, cool, hip parents and they're not just a bunch of squares. The kids don't think of their parents that way. I like the dynamics and how they were written in this film. The writing is awesome. And the fact that I have never read this book before and I still went into this as a, as a male, as a guy, and I still relate to the characters. I understood the story. I got the emotions. I can connect to this film in so many different ways. Drama, comedy films that like anyone can see any age from like eight, nine years old, all the way up to when you're a hundred years old. There's a lot of things that people can grasp on into this film. Interactions in this film, like the grandmother played hilariously by Kathy Bates was wonderful. Is that Benny Safdie as the father in this film? Like the director from Good Times and Uncut Gems? Yup, it sure is. <sighs> the two standout performances, Rachel McAdams as the mom and Abby Ryder Fortson as Margaret. Rachel McAdams gives one of the best performances I've seen her do maybe ever. Like she's incredible as the mother in this film. Shut up. There were two different times in this film, just from the way she reacts to something that's going on. One that's actually kind of comedic and one that's very dramatic and very serious for her. I teared up both times, like she got me. Well, well. First of all, my Canadian sister, that's right. 
our home and native land. <laughs> but she actually is just an incredible actress. She is so natural. She's able to capture characters so well on screen and bring them to life in such a vivid way that not a lot of other actresses have the same ability as she does. I hope she gets nominated for this film. Abby Ryder Fordson was just a perfect find for Margaret. Wow, she carries this film so well. Give this girl a Golden Globe nomination. Like, I couldn't believe how convincing and natural she was. And she's hilarious and she just has such a great spirit and energy to carry this film and that's what you need. So I thought she was a perfect find. Please God, let it be a lady. At times the pacing was a bit up and down and it does get into some serious things at certain points that really pull the energy of the film down at times. But really that's my only complaint about this film. Like I don't really have that much more. The runtime of this film was perfect, an hour and 51 minutes. It's got a lot of great beautiful moments in it. It explores life and shows growing up, I think in a very vivid way and one that isn't often shown on screen, especially for women. And I love that about this film. The music was great. The cinematography was well done. The group of friends were awesome and I thought were so great. Like there wasn't a single weak performance in this film. Now, while it may not be my favorite film of the year, I really enjoyed this flick. I think most people will too. I recommend it. I highly recommend you go check this out. It was really great to see on the big screen too. So I'm going to go ahead and give are you there, God? It's me, Margaret, an A minus. Yeah, what did you think of this film? Were you a fan of Are You There, God? It's me, Margaret. Are you a fan of coming of age films? And which one is your favorite? I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for checking out Mr. Teach Film Preach. Come back and check out some other videos like How to Blow Up a Pipeline, the Super Mario Bros. movie. Have a great day, everyone. Stay focused, stay awesome. And as always, let's get time.